Hi friends, uh, welcome to uh, part two of uh, Bible study, Dr. Chinedu, and we are in the book of Ruth, Ruth chapter one, and we did the first session, and uh, this is the second part of that uh, first chapter, Ruth chapter one, and today we're going to read verses 15 to 22. So we left off the fact that where um, Naomi was now going back to Judah, um, after she heard that God is now, God has given his people bread, you know, remember they left because there was a famine. So now they're going back because things has, things have obviously changed. And so, you know, just as I, you know, God will always, will never forsake his own. He will always, the Bible says, I've never seen the righteous begging bread. I've never seen the righteous forsaking or his seed begging bread. God will always, always give his people what they need. He will always satisfy, give them everything they need. He provides. He's a provider. So anyway, she is now going back to Judah after she's lost her husband and she's lost her two sons. And so now um, Orpha and Ruth, her daughters-in-law, are. she has told them that they don't have to go with her because, you know, she they can just go on and, and remarry. They're young. And then um, she feels that the, the hand of the Lord is heavy upon her life and that, you know, she's had this, she's experienced this misfortune. Um, she now is just going back to her land, Judah, sad. Um, but now she tells her daughters, well, just go, go ahead and go. So we start here in verse 15. Uh, Ruth um, returns with Naomi because Ruth, Clave to Naomi, all found went ahead and joined back to her people, uh, which was her choice. Uh, didn't say there's anything wrong with her choice, but it just said that, you know, she had the choice. So, but Ruth clave to Naomi. Verse 15, <clears throat> and she said, this is Naomi speaking, behold, thy sister-in-law is gone back unto her people and unto her gods. Return thou after thy sister-in-law. Okay, Naomi saying, offer is gone back to her people and to her gods. Um, she said, you don't have to come with me. Go ahead and go. Uh, verse 16, and Ruth said, this is the classic passage that everyone uses for wedding ceremonies all the time. Um, but it definitely is um, relative for a wedding because the words are so powerful. And verse 16 in Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave thee or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people and thy God, my God. So powerful. Verse 17, where thou diest, will I die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me and more also, if aught but death part thee and me. That is so powerful. And of course, why wouldn't you want to use that for a wedding? It's so, it's so relative. Um, you are following, uh, you're, you're coming together to follow this person and just uh, as, as God leads and you're going to follow wherever he goes, you go talking in, in alignment with the wedding ceremony. So it's, it's such a, a commitment. It's a powerful commitment. Uh, so here we see in the context of this scripture though, um, Ruth is saying to Naomi, I want to go with you. And you see the key thing here. The key thing here, it says, I will go where thou goest. And it says, thy people shall be my people and thy God, my God. That is the key thing here. So this is interesting. Naomi is saying, told Orpha and Ruth, go and, you know, you don't need to come with me. You can go get married. You're young. Move on with your life. But the key thing here is that Ruth claimed to Naomi, not because she is coming uh, to get married or any, for any alternative reasons. She is coming to Naomi because now she has falling in love with this God that Naomi worships because she says, thy people shall be my people, thy God, my God. See, that is the difference. She is not following her because she wants to get to know this God. She's just now at this point made a commitment. She wants to follow God. She wants to follow the same God that Naomi worships. And so that is the key thing that we see here. Verse 7 says, and she says, where thou diest, I will die and, and will I be buried. So here's her full commitment. It says, the Lord do so to me and more also if aught but debt part thee and I. So 
she literally is saying, I want to follow you. Why? It's because of what the God that Naomi worship. She's not coming to get married. Like, you know, it's obvious. Naomi told her, I can't have any more children, even if I did. You're not going to wait for them to grow up. But Ruth, in her heart, had made a decision that thy God will be my God. And I believe that is the reason, the core reason she followed Naomi. Because now her heart has been changed to seek after this God that Naomi worshipped. Uh, even in the midst of the tribulation and the tragedy, she now wants to get to know this God. And guess what happened? At the end, we see that God blesses her. And so verse 18, uh, moving forward to complete this portion of the scripture, when she saw, Naomi, when she saw that she was steadfastly minded to go with her, then she left speaking unto her. She stopped trying to convince her not to go with her because she now sees that Ruth is really serious about following her. Sometimes we got to ask ourselves, how serious are we about following God? How desperate are we to follow God? Because God says, if we seek him with all of our heart, we will find him. So that's a question that we ought to ask ourselves. So now, verse 19, so they too went until they came to Bethlehem. And it came to pass when they were come to Bethlehem that all the city was moved about them. And they said, is this Naomi? I think she came back in such a way that they, they did not recognize her anymore. She had obviously uh, had not had the best experience. She has seen some hard things and tragedy that she was, people were like, is this Naomi? Yeah. So sometimes life throws a curveball at you. Sometimes you think that you, uh, what you thought you would do or would happen, your expectations are disappointed. Life is life is full of surprises, but the God God is still in control. God is in control of everything. He knows what will happen to us. He knows what's going to happen to you and I tomorrow. He He knows everything. He's completely in control. We can trust Him as long as we are following Him, seeking Him with all of our heart. We can trust not in our circumstances, but in the God that controls our circumstances. So here, moving to verse twenty, and she Naomi said unto them. Call me not Naomi, call me Mara, for the Almighty had dealt very bitterly with me. And she goes on to say, verse 21, I went out full and the Lord had brought me home again empty. Why then call ye me Naomi, seeing the Lord has testified against me and the Almighty had afflicted me? So Naomi returned and Ruth the Moabite, her daughter-in-law with her, which returned out of the country of Moab, and they came to Bethlehem in the beginning of bar barley harvest. So we're going to stop there. So they come back to uh, her home. And so uh, she was not recognizable because, you know, she sees herself now. She told people, God has dealt, the Almighty had afflicted me. So she is in a very um, difficult uh state and her heart, her heart is broken. Let me say that her heart is broken and and rightly so because of um, her experience. But, you know, the Bible says God is not going to forsake his home. And God said he will never leave us. He will never forsake us. Those that trust in him, um, the Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want, no matter how difficult, no matter how tragic, no matter what has happened to us, uh, God is still, God comforts, God restores, God heals. And we're going to see the end of this story as we move on to the next session, moving on to the next Bible study, uh, most likely, continuing the book of Ruth. So we're going to stop here for now. So I will say two takeaways from this particular session. Number one, uh, we can take the example of Ruth. Ruth uh, followed Naomi, not for her own selfish interests, not for what she could get, not because she was seeking a husband or money or wealth or, or any other thing, because Naomi really said she didn't have anything to offer her. Uh, but Ruth followed Naomi because clearly says, your God shall be my God. That was the key thing because Ruth was following after God. And it reminds me of the scripture, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto thee. She sought the Lord. And we will see the end of the story that God is going to reward those who diligently seek after him. So that's a takeaway that we seek God first and all these other things shall be added unto us. And then for Naomi, of course, who feels God has dealt heavily with her, God is going to turn around her story. And we're going to read that later on. So we're going to stop there for now. Until next time, go back and read uh, Ruth chapter one. Okay, until next time. Blessings. Bye-bye.